As the interstellar comet 3I Atlas hurtles toward our solar system, new data is emerging that signals a catastrophic threat to our entire existence. What was once considered a cosmic curiosity has now become an alarming reality. Well, first thing, uh, it implied that it came from outside the solar system because uh, uh, gravity cannot bind it to the sun. It was moving too fast for that. And uh, the other thing is that the object was uh, relatively big, uh, uh, possibly tens of kilometers the size of Manhattan Island. And Extraordinary new findings confirm that Mars, the red planet, is on the brink of collision with this alien object one that carries an unprecedented and potentially devastating payload. NASA's latest reports show that 3I Atlas is streaking toward Mars with a speed and trajectory that defies our understanding. And while we've been captivated by its unusual composition, a staggering concentration of carbon dioxide, what's hidden beneath this cosmic dust could be far more perilous. The comet's orbit is veiled in the sun's blinding glare, but new data suggests that its true purpose is not mere cosmic debris. But that's not all. In the ancient riverbeds of Jezero Crater, NASA's rovers have begun detecting unexplainable biosignatures, signs of life dormant or otherwise, lying beneath the Martian surface. Could this be a coincidence? Or is 3I Atlas not just a celestial object, but something more, something deliberate? Is it carrying life, or perhaps something far darker, an engineered payload intended for Mars or for us? With just 30 million kilometers between us and Mars, time is running out. What happens next could fundamentally rewrite the future of interstellar exploration and our very understanding of life beyond Earth. Are we on the brink of discovery or the precipice of destruction? The countdown has begun. 3I Atlas is no ordinary comet. Its trajectory through our solar system is hyperbolic with an eccentricity greater than one a mathematical confirmation that it originates from beyond our sun's gravitational pull. Astronomers verified this within hours of its discovery on July 1, 2025, confirming that its orbital calculations showed it would never return to our solar system. Instead of looping around the sun like a planet or most comets, 3I Atlas is on a one-way journey hurtling past at nearly 68 kilometers per second, that's about 150,000 miles per hour, far exceeding the speed of any object born within our solar system. Its closest approach to Earth will be 1.8 astronomical units, or about 269 million kilometers, in December 2025. But even at this considerable distance, it demands attention for another crucial reason, the glowing cloud, or coma, that envelops its icy core. When sunlight heats a comet, frozen gases and dust erupt outwards, forming this coma, and sometimes a tail. Most comets are traditionally characterized by water vapor, adhering to what astronomers call the dirty snowball model. However, Early spectra from 3I Atlas reveal a drastically different composition, one where carbon dioxide is far more abundant than water. This composition defies scientists' expectations for a typical comet, where water ice is presumed to be the primary ingredient. The flipped balance in 3I Atlas's coma suggests an origin in a much colder, more distant environment than our own solar system could possibly provide. As 3I Atlas races inward, its behavior compels astronomers to reevaluate the fundamental principles of comet chemistry and dynamics. 
The unique combination of its extreme speed, hyperbolic trajectory, and unusual coma signals that this is indeed a true interstellar visitor, one that holds secrets from another star system and possibly a completely different cosmic history. To counter that, we have Professor Avi Loeb uh, from Harvard, who I have great respect for, and he is pointing out some legitimate concerns about the uniqueness uh, of this object coming in from uh, interstellar space. And so it's worth listening to what he has to say, and he may very well be right. Mars continues to hide its secrets within the ancient sediments of Jezero Crater, where a river once carved paths depositing layers of silt and clay that could hold traces of ancient life. Among these layers, scientists have found unusual leopard spot textures, which some believe may be biosignatures, evidence that life once existed on Mars. However, Dr. Hiroshi Tanaka, a planetary chemist, cautions against jumping to conclusions. He points out that similar patterns on Earth can form through natural processes, like chemical reactions or mineral growth, rather than life itself. Mars, with its thin atmosphere and constant radiation, makes Jezero's delta one of the few places where ancient organics could be preserved. But distinguishing between Martian and extraterrestrial phenomena remains a challenge. With Three-Eye Atlas passing by Mars, the question intensifies. If new organics appear in Jezero, could they be from Mars's past or delivered by the comet? The chemistry of comets typically reveals clues about their origin, but Three-Eye Atlas defies expectations. A carbon dioxide to water ratio of 8 to 1 recorded by the Gran Telescopio Canarios, is unprecedented. Most comets contain more water than carbon dioxide, but here the situation is reversed. After further confirmation, astronomers began to question whether this points to a different molecular cloud or radical processing during its interstellar journey. Adding to the mystery, the comet's coma has an unusual green tint linked to molecules like dicarbon and cyanide. This glow is brighter than expected, possibly driven by carbon dioxide-rich outgassing. Some scientists suggest that 3i Atlas formed beyond the water ice line, where CO2 freezes out first, or that radiation may have altered its composition. As the clock ticks down toward its closest approach, Mars-based instruments are racing to capture more data before 3i Atlas slips from view. On October 3rd, 3i Atlas will sweep past Mars at a distance of just 0.19 astronomical units, approximately 28 million kilometers. In cosmic terms, this is a hair's breadth especially for an object that began its journey in another star system. However, this moment of closest approach introduces a critical complication. Mars and 3i Atlas will be almost directly behind the Sun from Earth's perspective. For weeks on either side of this flyby, the Sun's glare will completely swamp the line of sight, forcing ground-based telescopes to cease operations. This solar conjunction, stretching from late September through late October, creates an unavoidable blackout window during which Earth's most powerful observatories, Keck, VLT, and JWST, will be unable to track the comet or even the Martian sky. Even radio links to Mars orbiters become unreliable as solar noise drowns out signals. The timing is unforgiving, as the flyby's geometry dictates that the best chance to observe any interaction between Mars and 3i Atlas falls precisely within this period of scientific darkness. Missed opportunities like this are incredibly rare. 
the odds of an interstellar object passing this close to Mars during a conjunction are estimated at roughly once in a century based on current models of interstellar traffic and planetary alignments. The approach of 3i Atlas near Mars is one of the most extraordinary cosmic events in recent memory, and for planetary scientists, it feels like a cosmic dare. This interstellar visitor has arrived at the perfect moment, right as Mars is being intensely studied for biosignatures, while Earth is briefly hidden behind the sun's glare. With communication between Earth and Mars being temporarily cut off during this blackout, the only available platforms to observe 3i Atlas are the Mars orbiters. These orbiters, running on pre-programmed routines, will be the only eyes capable of capturing any data as the comet passes, making each observation window crucial. As the clock ticks down toward conjunction, every minute, every data set could hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of 3i Atlas. Mars orbiters, like ESA's Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, are under immense pressure to capture whatever they can before the window for observation closes. Mars Express with its high-resolution stereo camera, will view the comet from a distance of 28 million kilometers. However, given the comet's projected brightness and the limitations of the camera's resolution, it is likely that the comet will appear as little more than a faint dot in the data. Only an unexpected outburst could provide clearer images although the odds of such an event remain slim. On the other hand, the trace gas orbiter's nonome spectrometer is tuned to detect gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor, compounds that make 3i Atlas so unique. If there is a sudden outgassing event, the instrument could potentially capture a chemical fingerprint but the faint signal from such a distant object would have to stand out significantly against background noise. Both orbiters face a challenging task. With communication down during solar conjunction, no last-minute adjustments can be made to their instruments. The comet's faint brightness will push the detectors to their limits and there's a real risk that data might be lost if the onboard memory fills up before it can be downlinked. In such circumstances, scientists are bracing for a difficult yet high-stakes mission, fully aware that even if no dramatic discoveries occur, any data gathered will be invaluable. As 3i Atlas makes its way past Mars, three primary scenarios are under consideration. The first possibility is that this close pass is just a rare but natural event. Interstellar object flux models suggest that a body like 3i Atlas might pass within 0.2 astronomical units of Mars only once every 50 to 200 years. This makes its arrival rare but not impossible, and some scientists still view it as a statistical anomaly a cosmic event with no deeper meaning. The second possibility, however, leans into more speculative territory. Could 3i Atlas be a deliberate delivery system? The comet's chemical composition, particularly its high ratio of carbon dioxide to water, and its near-simultaneous arrival, as scientists report biosignature discoveries on Mars, have led to theories that this could be an intentional visit. However, for this to be true, there would need to be clear evidence of directed motion, a jet pushing the comet off course, an isotopic fingerprint suggesting artificial origins, or a trajectory shift that can't be explained by natural forces. So far, there are no clear signs of any such anomalies. Without evidence of deliberate guidance or propulsion, this theory remains speculative. Finally, there is the possibility of panspermia. 
the idea that life's building blocks might be carried through space on comets and other interstellar objects. If 3i Atlas's coma contains complex organic compounds, or if its dust reveals isotopic ratios that don't match anything from the solar system, this could lend some support to the theory. But proving panspermia would require more than just finding a burst of organic material. Scientists would need to uncover isotopic signatures in the comet's dust that were not present on Mars or anywhere in the solar system. Only then could they rule out the possibility of coincidence. For now, the most likely explanation is that 3i Atlas is a natural object. But the discovery of anything strange, an unexplained outburst, a new chemical signature, or a dust grain behaving in unexpected ways could quickly change that narrative. As the orbiters continue their observation campaign, planetary scientists will remain on edge, hoping to uncover evidence that could reveal whether 3i Atlas is merely a rare cosmic wanderer or something far more significant. Rumors about 3i Atlas have spread as rapidly as the object itself, fueled by memes of cosmic clocks and claims of engineered delivery. However, in scientific inquiry, extraordinary stories demand extraordinary evidence. The origin of the high carbon dioxide content and any potential connection to Martian biosignature studies remain unresolved. The evidence accumulated thus far does not unequivocally support artificial intervention, but it profoundly deepens our understanding of interstellar chemistry and highlights the formidable challenges of interpreting planetary anomalies. What 3i Atlas is doing near Mars represents a truly rare natural experiment, one that will rigorously test our scientific tools, our skepticism, and our collective ability to discern signal from noise in the ongoing search for life beyond Earth.